everybody, it's your girl Merle, and today we're back with another vegan substitute. 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 Okay, got that out of my system. So today we're gonna be making something you all sent to me, vegan eel, or unagi, out of potatoes. That's right. I wanna give a shout out to the original video because this is where the idea was inspired. Also, this entire Instagram page is just packed full of delicious vegan recipes. So without further ado, let's get right on into cooking. It is potato time, potato time. First thing we're gonna do is peel our potatoes. But what the potato is gonna do is it is gonna help to bind the unagi. Unagi. I'm using russet potatoes because that is what she recommended in the recipe. Okay, now that we've got our potatoes all peeled up, I'm going to quickly weigh them because the recipe was in ounces. US metric system getting a taste of our own medicine is what you're witnessing. Now we're gonna slicey dicey our potatoes up into some little cube. We're gonna get cubular. No, really, we're gonna get cubular. We don't even need to boil these because russet potatoes are a bit softer. I'm gonna put it in my little blender here. No, I can't drop the accent. I can't help myself. Not me, not Hermione, yo! Liquify! All right, now we are going to drain the liquid out of our potato puree. You can use cheesecloth, you could use paper towels if you want, you could use a fine mess sieve. Now we're gonna work with our tofu. We've got some firm tofu and I'm gonna press it. So now we're gonna combine our dry tofu and our dry potato puree together. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt. We're gonna add some pepper. I'm gonna add just a little bit of soy sauce. And then finally we're gonna add in some cornstarch. I'm gonna mix this up. The next step is for us to make our cornstarch slurry. And it's just a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of water. This cornstarch slurry is gonna act as our glue. Now we're gonna take our nori sheet and we're gonna split it in half. Then we're gonna brush some of our cornstarch slurry on there. We're gonna take a quarter of our mixture here and we're gonna just press that on there. All right, and then we're gonna divide this a little bit in half, make a little mark in the middle there. All right, so I've tried making two of these now, and oh, I'm not gonna lie, they're looking pretty lumpy. They do not look as beautiful as hers. So I'm gonna try to blend up the, the rest of the mixture just to see if I can get the lumps out of the tofu. By doing that, it looks significantly smoother. I feel better about that. And I'm gonna transfer this now over the stove. I'm just gonna flip it on there. Now, for our sauce, we're gonna need a quarter cup of mirin, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, a quarter cup of kombu dashi, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. We're gonna bring all the ingredients to a boil and then we're gonna lower the heat. We want the sugar to be completely dissolved. Basically, you just wanna cook this down until the sauce is showing large bubbles. All right, now it's the moment of truth. It does not look as pretty as hers, but that's okay. I'm still hopeful that it's gonna taste delicious. Man, that sauce is kicking, holy moly. The nori has a nice seaweed ocean flavor. The actual potato tofu mixture doesn't lend much flavor, but the texture is really nice. It's got a nice bounce to it. And it is a nice, more affordable way to make eel. It still crumbles in your mouth like tofu and potato would. It does hold up with the cornstarch more than I expected it to, but I don't think this would fool anyone into thinking it tasted like eel. Mmm, this is really good. Thank you, Woon, this is a delicious recipe. I hope you all enjoyed this. If there's anything else you'd like me to make, please send it my way. I'll probably make it. Mmm, 